Rob Anderson, Clean Power Wash, Salisbury, Maryland. Um, wanted to give you kind of a different idea here. Um, none of us are perfect, and eventually some customers are not going to be happy, and, and especially when it's um, when you've got employees. Um, not saying it's especially going to be not really when you have employees, but just as far as this overall idea. Um, when a customer gives you feedback that something wasn't done, um, instead of the first words out of your mouth or in the reply that you say to them is, I'm sorry or I'm so sorry or you know, we dropped the ball, blah, blah, blah. Um, kind of a, I don't know, different idea of how to handle it, but say thank you. Um, you know, blah, 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 this wasn't done right, they missed this spot, yada, yada. I'm disappointed. Thank you so much, Mr. Customer. I really, really appreciate you giving me this feedback directly, and I would always much rather have a customer let me know something needs to be fixed than to ever have something that wasn't up to your expectations and me not know and be able to fix it. I mean, what customer is still gonna be mad after you send them that? And what, what customer is not gonna then be more receptive to it? That we've owned up, we didn't make any excuses. And I again, I mean it 100% because if a customer's not happy with the way that you know anything went through the process, whether it was something just wasn't cleaned properly or uh, you know they didn't like timing for the guys or, or, or whatever, any feedback is always valuable. Now some people are crazy, so it might not be worth as much <laughs> for that feedback from them, but in general, there's so much to be gained. You know, when, when a customer lets you know that something just didn't meet their expectations or was, you know, whatever it may be, that is free business advice. Uh, that is something that, you know, then you look at it and say, okay, so where did we go wrong? What do we need to do differently? Um, we had the recent one, part of it was the siding hadn't dried and it looked just funky. I don't know what was up with it, but um, two garage doors looked weird, legitimately looked, didn't look right. And you know, I set the guys out, looked at it and everything, and it was actually oxidized. And that comes back to me. So I apologized to her and I said, you know, Again, thanks again for this feedback. I really do appreciate it. Um, it's my fault, ultimately, that that I didn't notice or spend the time walking around the house. You know, that's on me, and I should have been able to notice that it was oxidized and let my guys know that. So they used our normal cleaning process, and part of the oxidation was disturbed on one of the doors. Um, and we were able to get it fixed. It just it ended up just needing to be brushed with with a little bit more house wash, that was it. Um, quick and easy, made her happy. Um, she did say we were the most expensive people she's ever hired for it, um, which, you know, again, feedback-wise, I need to take that back on myself and also relate to my guys that we can't have that happen because, you know, that is the goal, is to be a premium-priced contractor, to make more money, you know? more money I make, the more money my guys make, the better the business will be run, the better the equipment will be, and ultimately, you know, be able to provide a better and better experience for our customers. So, again, take this food for thought. Again, it's gonna, I'm sure that she was kind of blown away when my response was, thank you, instead of just the, I'm sorry, leg between my tail, um, what can I do to make it better? Obviously, I asked what we can do to make it better, but, um, and she didn't have anything else on the property to clean other than her roof, and I'm not going to do a roof for free, but um, typically if we have to go back to fix anything, we're finding something, anything else that we can just to do something extra. If there was something else that we've priced, um, you know, that's under $100, 150 bucks, we're going to just go ahead and do that for free right then. So, um, yeah, if you do this, let me know. Um, give me some feedback. Let me know how it went. Um, but I think you're going to see a different response from customers when you do that than just, I'm sorry. And I think, too, the, the I'm sorry so often as we all feel like that, that wasn't sincere. Um, so, 
Anyways, have a great day. Thanks.